So we have a work request that came in from a work management system for uh, residential design of eight lots. And we also have a design that's attached to that. So let's open up that design. So I have the design open. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to place a path, which is going to be where I have my work locations. Now I'll originally get the conductor, then the pole. And I'm going to place a pole at that location, there, there. And of course, I can also come in and set it by a bearing and distance, which is to there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slide this up. And I'll get a normal path. And we can see that we've picked up that existing pole at point one. So I can come in and place poles at the other locations, automatically dragging and dropping. I will then come in and place overhead primary on that and I'm going to place a transformer at point 3 and point 5 I will also spot in so I can place features a couple ways by drag and drop or just by spotting them in. I'm going to place a pole at that location and a pole at this location. And then I can drag secondary uh, snapping. It builds connectivity to the pole. And now what I'm going to do is come in and place my service locations. So these would be where the meter would be. I'm selecting my tappable locations. And this will calculate from the meter location to the closest possible, the nearest connectable device, which would be the end of the secondary or the transformer. And I will expand path three. And I'm going to place overhead service on path three. And loads on path three. So we've now got our design done. And as you see, every time I've placed a feature, such as the pole, it's a proposed install 45 foot class three wood pole, uh, similarly with the transformer. So we've got the appropriate compatible units uh, displayed here. And that's for everything that we've placed. And now we can generate reports of that if need be.